paradigm of the artist can only be an individual, I think has been broken. Within the architectural practice, there is, it is a collaborative creative process usually. But the other factor was that in the counterculture, it was really considered better, you know, morally to be in a, a collective than to be an individual. There was this aspect about suppress your ego and work you know, in the commune, and the, the commune is more important than the individual. For Ant Farm, it was a period, 1973, 74, 75, 76, when we were really, you know, hitting on all cylinders, <laughs> to use an automotive metaphor. Miranda and I had known each other for quite a while before learning to love you more. I was always trying to create communities or invent setups that would fill the, that space that, that I hadn't experienced of some kind of community or school or network. We were also, I think, both delving into the web at that point. There was no Facebook, MySpace, YouTube, anything like that. Sort of realizing, oh, th this is a, a place in which people all over the world who have access to the web could participate in something. And the idea that, in a way, we could be collaborating with them we all do our own projects, and I think it's a really important part of. Yeah, it's refreshing. The yeah, and like the learning. the psyche of when we do come together as future farmers, we've kind of evolved on our own, or we've had new experiences. Maybe sometimes good, maybe sometimes bad, and we bring that knowledge back into the the group. I think it also makes our practice more diverse. It was nice to go from a position as artists where we were supposed to be original and totally you know, in control of everything to then go into a project that, that people wouldn't have to worry about those kinds of concerns in. You know, it's easy to stumble alone, but when you're with someone else, it's, um, I think it's brave to, um, to stumble with someone else. There's sort of this ethos of play in, in this area, and I think with that comes an openness to collaborating. There's a, a sense of, of uh, playing together, it goes back to jazz, to improvisation. Yeah, that's right. Of course, there's a lead yeah. guitarist and a lead vocalist, but that's, you know, yeah. a lot of ego stuff gets worked out. It's hippie architecture, you know. It yeah, was it hippie architects it's hippie. designing for the, the temporary rock and roll <laughs> event. We're almost um, exuberantly sh into sharing knowledge. Like, as soon as you find someone who's curious, you're like, oh, but, and there's this, and we, we found this, and you should go here, and it, there's like, I think it also comes with teaching. Like, there's this, um, fulfillment in sharing knowledge. Constantly being like asking each other questions, asking each other for help, and then you kind of realize how interesting that is. How when you ask questions to a collaborator about technology or about nature, how that is an interesting part of the process and then wanting to open that up to a wider audience. For me, it was one of my most favorite things I ever did. In the simplest sense, all I really want to do as an artist is put something out and get something back, have a real feeling of connection. I think in any band, you know, you have different personalities. When that creative collaboration is working well, it's really creating more than what individuals could on their own. 